What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. So as you probably know, stretch resolution has been a very common topic in the Fortnite community for a long time. Ever since it was first discovered in chapter one, people have constantly been discussing whether you should use stretch resolution, what the best stretch resolution is, and all these different things. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to be clearing up everything. This video is going to tell you everything you need to know about stretch resolutions and ultimately telling you which one is the best for you. If you go on to enjoy this video, then be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more, and of course, if you want to show some extra support it's always appreciated if you could use code techo in the item shop it's 100 percent free for you it only takes a couple seconds to type in and it seriously does help me out a bunch but with all that said guys and without further ado let's get into today's video so starting out this video just in case you're not up to date i want to just give some basics of stretch resolution here so as i'm sure you probably know stretch resolution is an option for pc players which as the name implies stretches out your screen stretch res first became popular back in chapter one because it would actually increase fov field of view and that meant you could see more around you so when it first became popular you would see pretty much every pro player playing on it it seemed like their screens could see all the way around them and overall it gave a big competitive advantage near the end of chapter one this actually ended up being patched and stretch resolution lost popularity for a while but nowadays a good number of people have come back to using it so this all raises the question if it was patched back in chapter one then why should you use the stretch resolution and there are actually going to be three different reasons why you may want to use it the first of these reasons is probably the most enticing one and that's that stretch resolution actually has the benefit of boosting your fps the way stretch resolution actually works is it decreases the number of pixels on the x-axis of your screen and as a result of that your monitor automatically stretches that out so your device actually has to load less pixels even though it appears to be on the same size screen so ultimately what this does is your device has to load less pixels and therefore you get higher fps because your gpu can do more now the extent to which this happens is going to depend on how severe of a stretch resolution you play if you play a super stretch resolution for example 1280 by 1080 or something like that then your screen is going to be super stretched and your fps is going to be insanely high. Whereas if you play a more mild stretch resolution, something like 1720 by 1080 or 1800 by 1080, then you're really not going to get too much of an FPS boost. It may be slightly smoother, but it's not going to be a massive difference. But overall, the benefit of boosting your FPS certainly is enticing. The second reason that a lot of people like to use stretch resolution is because it actually makes objects appear larger on your screen. For example, if you're in a box with another player, then they're going to take up more room on your monitor. Although this doesn't change the hitboxes or anything like that, some people just find it easier to aim and hit their shots when when the resolution is stretched. So really, this is going to be an individual thing, and it's pretty much all placebo effect, but if it feels better, it feels better. And lastly, the final reason why people use stretch resolution in Chapter 4 is simply due to the way the game looks. In the end, some people just like the way stretch resolution looks, and a lot of people use more mild stretch resolution simply because they like the way the game feels when they use them, even though there's not really any scientific reason to do it. So overall, those are going to be your three reasons why you might want to use stretch resolution. So with all that said, now that we've gone over the information you're actually going to need to know about stretch resolution, what I'm going to do next to show you guys a comparison of some of the common stretch resolutions that way you can get a general idea for what you might like and then after that i'll do a tutorial showing you how to actually set it up just in case you don't know how to so here we are guys in the comparison of stretch resolutions and as you can probably tell this is just native resolution here this is your good old 1920 by 1080 for the sake of the video i guess i'll just build a little bit get you guys a better idea as to what this looks like but i'm sure you're already very familiar with what native resolution looks like so i'm not going to waste too much time on this one all right so here we are on our second resolution which is going to be 1720 by 1080. So I'm going to go to a slightly different area of the map. I'm going to try to stay somewhat around the same. All right, but here we are. We can see this wolf attacking the chicken. But as you guys can see, this is 1720 by 1080. So this is our more mild stretch resolution. There are other options like 1760 and 1800, but I find that I kind of want to make a bigger jump here just to give you guys a better idea as to what stretch looks like. So as you can see, things take up a lot more space, at least horizontally on my screen. My character definitely looks a lot bigger. It doesn't help that I already play with a big character. And I'll go ahead and just place some builds here for you guys. As you can see, one floor basically takes up a good portion of my screen. Now, keep in mind, there are resolutions even more mild than this one, but in terms of stretch resolution in general, this is a pretty mild one. If you look at the resolution someone like Martaz plays on, it's usually around here or maybe a little bit lower than this. But overall, I'd say this is a pretty good sensitivity. You know, it feels pretty good. My FPS is doing pretty solid. And overall, it's just nice in general. It's a pretty good balance. So with all that said, let's get less balanced. All right guys so here we are on a third resolution and this one is going to be 1600 by 1080 so i'm going to get down to the ground and show you guys what we're working with so here we are in the ice biome and as you can see my character is looking absolutely chunky right now like this guy's taking up a solid quarter of my screen alone but honestly this feels very very smooth like my game feels fantastic right now it makes sense because my game's loading about 15 percent less pixels if i'm doing the math correctly obviously if i go outside and i look around it's going to drop a little bit but i'm maintaining pretty close to 240 and in terms of just like moving 
moving around, like my game does feel a lot better right now than it usually does. The only real downside to this resolution, I'd say, is that it is starting to get a little bit more on the hefty side of stretched. Especially if you wear a bigger skin like I do, it's certainly not helping. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like to build on here. As you can probably tell, it's definitely a little bit, uh, I guess it's just more crowded on screen. It doesn't really make it harder to build. In fact, it might make it a little bit easier just because the FPS is better. And I guess you can kind of see where you're doing a little bit better. But overall, I like this resolution. I think it is a little bit on the steep side in terms of a stretch resolution, but I can definitely see why a lot of people would play on this. I guess this is kind of in a similar range to 1720. They're both really good resolutions. It's a little more hefty than 1720, but they're both still relatively subtle in a sense. But with that in mind, let's move on to our final resolution. All right, guys. So here we are on our final resolution for this video. And this one is going to be 1440 by 1080. As you can probably tell already, it's a very, very stretch resolution. I feel like it's a bit different to play on than it looks like on video, I would imagine. But in terms of playing the game right now, let me tell you the difference is definitely significant. So as you can see, my character takes up even more space on my screen. This guy's taken up probably a solid third of it now. Now, I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. This probably is not a resolution I would play on. Honestly, as good as it feels in terms of the FPS, like my game feels fantastic right now. Don't get me wrong. The problem is it is just very, very stretched. I mean, it's very awesome obvious that this is a stretch resolution right here and it kind of almost interferes with how the game looks in a bad way i'm not saying it's a bad resolution i can definitely see why someone would play it but this is definitely getting on the heavier side of stretch resolution with that said i'll go ahead and build a little bit for you guys regardless kind of show you what it looks like yeah this is very very stretched i mean if i'm standing halfway through the box pretty much my entire screen is this one wall and it feels great to edit and whatnot but it's just so much so with that in mind guys now that we've covered all these resolutions i want to go ahead and show you them all side by side so as you you can see on screen here we've got native we've got 1720 we've got 1600 and we've got 1440 all those are side by side so you can kind of see the difference with each so when it comes to which one of these modes is best it's really going to come down to your own preference for me personally i do like anywhere in the 1600 to 1760 range i feel like that's a good balance between having a stretch resolution and getting those benefits while also not making your game look so stretched that it just looks weird now as a content creator i can't really play on stretch resolution just because i use my own gameplay in a lot of videos but if i did play stretch resolution i'd say mine would probably be around 1600 i really like the balance there between having that stretched look also getting that good fps boost and whatnot but also not making stuff appear so large that it's weird either that or the 1720 with that in mind guys there are plenty of other options for stretch resolutions as well i just wanted to give you guys a good range on screen right now i'll list a couple of these resolutions for you guys those are just some other example stretch resolutions you could try out if you want to go higher or lower than the range then that makes sense if you want to stay with Within the range that's what i would personally recommend but overall guys there really isn't a best stretch resolution but hopefully this video gave you a good idea as to what stretch resolution you might want to consider so with that said guys let's get into our tutorial as to how to actually set it up all right guys so i'm here on my desktop and i'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up stretch resolution if you didn't already know so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually change your game settings so to do this simply go to your file explorer and type in percent app data percent you're going to want to go back here and then go to local. From here, you'll go down until you see Fortnite game, saved, config. Then you're going to go to Windows client and finally game user settings. So from here, you're going to scroll down and eventually you're going to see something along the lines of resolution size X and resolution size Y. So right here, there are going to be four settings that we're going to want to change. We're going to want to change our resolution size X, our last user confirmed resolution size X, our last user confirmed desired screen width, and our desired screen width. So all these are going to be changed to the X that you want for your stretch resolution. So we'll say, for example, I'm changing to 1720. So I'm going from native resolution to 1720 by 1080. I'm just going to change all the 1920s into 1720. From there, I'm just going to save this. I'm going to close that out and close that out. And then you're going to go to either your NVIDIA control panel or AMD, whichever one you use. I'm sure most of you guys are using NVIDIA, so hopefully this is a good example. And what you're going to want to do here is go to customize. So as if I never had that on there, we're going to go to create custom resolution. And all we're going to do is change it to 70. 1720 by 1080. You're going to want to make the refresh rate whatever your monitor is. So mine's 240. You're going to click test. It's all going to go black again for a second. And you're going to want to save this resolution. From here, it's all going to go black once again. And finally, it's going to appear up here on the custom part. So I'm going to want to apply it one more time. Desktop configuration has changed. Do you want to keep these settings? Yes, I do. And from here, once you go into the game, it's going to be as simple as loading it up and you're going to have your stretch resolution. And if you want to switch back to native resolution at any time or any other resolution, you're just going to want to go through the same exact 
next step. So go to app data, go down to local, the same Fortnite, saved config, Windows client, game user settings. Then you just change your resolution size back to 1920 by 1080. And in your control panel, you're simply going to want to switch back just like this. And yeah, guys, hopefully that clears up exactly how to set up stretch resolution. But with all that said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the best stretch resolutions to use in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. Overall, hopefully this video gave you a better idea as to what stretch resolutions you might want to use, if you want to use any. If you found this video helpful, then be sure to drop a like on it. As well as that, consider subscribing as well if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content just like this in the future. As you may or may not know, I post a ton of tips and tricks content on this channel, so be sure to hit that big red button so you don't miss out. And lastly, guys, if you want to show some extra support, it's always appreciated if you could use code TECO in the item shop. It only takes a few seconds to type in, and it seriously does help me out a bunch. As always, a massive thank you to everyone who uses it. But with all that said, guys, thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.